Hi, welcome to the buffer zone. Today I'm going to be looking at a multi-port valve and how it works. Um, it creates a bit of confusion with people with the various positions, so we're going to break that down and uh, hopefully clear things up a little bit for you. I think it's important to start by looking at the internals here so you get a bit of an understanding of how it works. So let's have a look at that now uh, at a little bit closer. Okay, so um, here's your multi-port valve. I've already undone the, the screws, obviously, so this comes apart quite easily. These are the two main parts of the valve. Okay, so looking at this part uh, first, you can see all the different chambers that, that go to various parts of the filter. There's no point going into too much detail as to where they go, but that gives you an understanding of how the water is redirected in, inside the filter. Now, if you look at the actual valve itself, you can see how that could possibly fit together and redirect the water through. So every time you move this handle, this pointer here, to a different spot, it moves the locator and the valve completes a different function. Okay, so hopefully seeing the inside of the valve here has clarified a couple of things for you. So let's go through position by position um, how the actual valve itself works. So filtration position, filter position, is basically the, fil the position the filter will sit in 99.5% of the time. That's water in from the pool pump, passing through the filter media that you have, and then going back out to the pool. The positions on all these valves are not always exactly the same, but on 90% of them, they'll be in these locations no matter what the brand. Okay, so the next position around is waste position. That is what you do if you are trying to drain the pool without any water going through the filter. So after some heavy rain, um, it's a good idea just to whack it on waste if you don't need to backwash. And what happens there is the water comes from the pool pump, through the valve only, and then straight out to the sewer. Okay, so in Australia it goes to the sewer. Uh, by law, uh, other countries might be a bit different. But it, that's your waste water either way. Next position is closed. Now, as a rule of thumb, if your pool equipment is not below the water level, <clears throat> you should never need to use this closed position. So what the closed position does is it shuts down this whole valve. No water can pass through it in any direction. So if you have it in the closed position and you turn the pool pump on, you could conceivably do quite a bit of damage because your pool pump will be pumping against the closed valve here. Okay, so bear in mind, straight away eliminate if your equipment is below the wall level, you may use it, but if it's above the wall level, you never need to use it. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Backwash is, I'll move this around so you can see, backwash is um, what, how you clean the media out inside your, inside your filter. Okay, so what happens is normally water will pass in through the valve, push down through the media, come back up the port through the middle and back to the, back to the pool. Now when you're backwashing, the water comes in as usual but is reversed. So the water comes down through the middle stem into the bottom of the media, lifts it, stirs it, and all the dirty water passes out to the sewer. Now this needs to be done, generally speaking, once every four weeks, but your pool, local pool professional will be able to give you a better indication of how often you need to do it for your pool. Okay, next position is recirculate. Now recirculate is basically does exactly what it says. It's recirculating the water, stirring it through the pool without it going through the media. So water in from the pool pump, into the valve, straight back to the pool. You hardly ever have to use this. Generally speaking, you only have to use it when you have to use specialty chemicals in the pool. So, and again, your pool care professional will be able to tell you uh, when that will need to be done. Rinse is what you do after your backwash, okay? So when you're backwashing, you get a filter, backwash, then rinse. And in the rinse position, what's happening there is the water's coming from the pool pump back through the filter normal circulation, but instead of going back to the pool, it still goes out to the sewer or the drain. And the purpose of this is after a backwash, when your media's been lifted, you might still sometimes get some fine particles floating. And when you put it back into filter mode, if you put it straight from backwash to filter, then what can happen is those fine particles can go back to your pool, clouding your pool up. Okay, so rinse basically settles the media back down and passes that water straight out to the sewer. So generally, if you're backwashing for say 90 seconds, you'd rinse for probably 20 or 30 seconds. That's sort of standard. Okay, and then, of course, back into the filter position. Okay, so obviously during that uh, little explanation, I wasn't moving the handle around, but one golden rule to remember whenever you're handling your filter is that whenever you move this handle, the pool pump must be off. 
okay? I'm not gonna get into all the other bits and pieces you have to turn on and off, because every system is completely different. But you must have the pull pump off whenever you move this handle, okay? And bear in mind, this is your handle, this is your pointer. So if you're pointing down here, that means you're in backwash, okay? Um, golden rule, most important, do not try to move this handle when the pull pump's running, otherwise you can do some major damage there. Okay, thanks for dropping past the buffer zone. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and hopefully we'll see you again soon.